I got a couple questions uh, following my last video on pressure adjustments for the Penske's. Uh, so just figured I'd make a, another video here for, with some additional information. So uh, right now we're looking at one of the spec Corvette Penske's on the rear of, uh, of my spec Corvette. And the couple things of note are that one, uh, these are single adjustable only. So what we're adjusting when we adjust the Penske's is just the rebound. And so this guy down here, um, that is your rebound adjustment. So the Penske's now from Spec Corvette ship with a recommended setting, which is approximately 32 clicks from full stiff in the rear. So they're, they, they should be generally pretty soft as a good starting point. Uh, coming from the factory, but if you want to double check that, which is a really good idea, you would take this guy, it's just an Allen key, and you would tighten it, right? So righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you would turn that screw clockwise until it stops, uh, and that's your full stiff. And then you'll back it out 32 clicks from there, and you'll actually feel the detent in the screw as you back it out. The other thing to note, if I can actually see this well, is that up here on the collars, um, these are easy to turn when there's no pressure on the springs, but as you corner balance it, you're gonna need to get quite a bit of pressure in there um, in order to get things to balance out, right? Uh, so you need a tool, uh, a tool that will actually fit into one of these, into these holes, right? So this just happens to be a shock tool that I have from another set of coilovers. The Penske's didn't come with one, but basically anything of the right diameter to get in there will help you to spin this guy. Uh, the other thing to note is that there are little Allen set screws in here, right? And so I'm pointing at one right there, which is hard to see. There's another one on the opposite side of the collar, 180 degrees out. So you need to loosen both of those in order to be able to turn these things. So, uh, so that's how you'll adjust the collars and that's the same all the way around. So then moving over to the front, I'm gonna grab a light because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see this particularly well. Um, so like I said, the, the collars adjust the same way, they're just up kind of high, but the way we adjust rebound is a little bit different. So I'm gonna try to do this with the light, which I think is gonna be kind of hard to do. Um, anyway, our re rebound adjustment is on the bottom of the shock. So you can see here, I've got an Allen's uh, key that's actually pointed at it. Let me see if I can get better light here. Um, and basically that's a, it's kind of like a nut head with, with holes in each of the faces. And it's gonna be the same deal. You screw that thing in clockwise, uh, which is basically going up, right? So if you're looking from the bottom up, it's gonna spin clockwise. This one does not have detents um, where you can feel a click. So just think of each face as a click. Um, so I use, you just use something small like a pick or in this case, a small Allen wrench. It doesn't really matter. It's just a round hole. And you're gonna use that to give you leverage to uh, spin that guy up in. So again, you wanna send it all the way up. Uh, uh, and then the recommended setting to start with is to back it out six clicks or basically six faces. So clockwise in all the way to full stiff and then unscrew it six faces to get you to a good starting point. 